Hey everyone! So today I'm going to discuss a bit of a serious topic and I actually wrote a song about this but I feel that it's so pervasive in society amongst, well, everyone that it warrants its own separate introduction. And what I'm going to talk about is actually something that research has shown that most people have. The majority of us have it. But a lot of us don't even know that we have it. It's a bit unconscious. And what it is, is the inner critic. And I've been working with my inner critic for about three years now. So we're good buds. Well, we're not really good buds. I don't really like my inner critic because it tells me things like, I suck. And I am not articulate enough and that I need to work on this and that and the other thing. So we're not really good buds, but it's always there. <laughs> and I've come to a point where I can listen to its voice now and hear the criticisms, the critiques, the barrage of negativity that it directs towards me, and I can choose to ignore it. And as I ignore it, it diminishes. And so the inner critic is something that, like I said, most of us have. The inner critic is a subpersonality or a variation of subpersonality. It's a voice, it's an energy, it's very negative, it's very oppressive, it's very domineering, it stomps you down, it keeps you down. So step out of it, you know, just listen to it. Well, don't listen, don't listen to it, but hear it. You know what I'm saying? Hear it and put it aside because it will rule your life and you don't want that. Uh-uh. Talk to the hand inner critic. Talk to the hand. So why do most of us not know about the inner critic? Well, because it's, it's like an unconscious voice. You know, it's always there, but it, we identify with it. So this voice is going on in our head and we're thinking that this is just me and thinking that I need to do a better job of something because that's how I feel. But I want to say that it's actually not you. This voice started way back in childhood because of parents, authority figures, whoever in your life who told you that you had to do something better. And you internalized this voice and those external voices became an internal way of you telling yourself that you need to do better. So the inner critic can come up in almost any situation, but there's a few where it's more predominant. Often when you're trying something new, when you're with new people, or when you're with authority figures, or maybe even when you're on your first date. Mm -hmm. You know what? Tell that voice to go away. Tell it to go away because it's not real. It's just these thoughts that we've experienced throughout our lives that try to inherently protect us. And that may sound counterintuitive that this voice that is, you know, telling me that I can't do anything right is actually here to protect me. Yeah, right, you say, I know. But the way that it tries to protect is that before anybody else outside of us can critique us for what we're doing wrong, the voice comes in and says, you're doing that wrong. And so therefore I will hold myself back and nobody else can criticize me. You see, I'm protecting myself from the external sources of criticism through this internal version. Mm-hmm. My inner critic, I discovered, is Cruella DeVille. That's her name. She came up during a meditation. I saw her black and white hair, their long cigarette. She's evil and she's out to get me. But I am putting a stop to that. Because now I know she's there, right? So when she comes up, I try to become aware of her. I tell her she's wrong, that what she's telling me is untrue, 
and that I am perfectly okay. It's very useful to go inside, get in touch with that inner critic, see that inner voice, learn where it came from, and learn how to turn it off. Because it's holding you back. It's holding you back from doing what you want to do. From being who you can really be. From all of the greatness that is within you. It's stopping you. It puts a stop to you be even before you branch out and try something new or talk to that person or apply for that job or when you're in an interview and it tells you that what you're saying is not good enough it's holding you back and it's stopping you so if you feel that you're one of those many people out there who have an inner critic which is most of us so you probably do watch my next video in which I will perform my critic song called Inner Critic Original Stuff What can I say? And please excuse my spaciness today I'm on day two of the Master Cleanse Um But who am I kidding? I'm always kind of spacey So I have an excuse today aside from my blonde hair It's been nice talking to y'all or talking at you all in the form of a camera and um, that's all I got to say for today, so namaste, a wave, a wave. I need more practice with that one.